speed. Man has always been fascinated by this unique sensing adrenaline rush. But if speed itself wasn't enough, why not unleash this incredible sensation on two wheels? So, here's a rundown of the 10 fastest production bikes on the planet, Good Vision. Let's start with the slowest if we can define it that way. In 10th position, we find the Italian Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory. It features a 1,099 cubic centimeters V4 engine, capable of 217 horsepower. This incredible power, combined with latest generation electronics and a weight of 201 kilograms push it around 184 miles per hour, 296 kilometers per hour. But rather than going in a straight line it is designed to be a circuit weapon and its price is around 26,000 euros. In 9th places, by right, another superbike. In fact, we will see later that in this ranking there are different types of motorcycles, not just super sports. BMW created the first S1000RR in 2008, and right from the start it was clear what this bike was capable of. In its latest version it has a 999 cubic centimeters inline four-cylinder engine, and the weight is around 197 kilograms, all sufficient to bring it to a maximum speed of 190.5 miles per hour, we are talking about 307 kilometers per hour. It can be yours starting from 21,000 euros. In 8th place in the standings, a kind of motorcycle that is hard to believe is present among these hypersporty and super technological monsters. Let's talk about the Kawasaki Ninja ZX-14R, a grand tourer with a crazy top speed, but comfortable for traveling and grinding distances. Its 1,441 cubic centimeters inline four-cylinder engine boasts a power of 200 round horsepower. It is certainly not a featherweight, with its 269 kilograms, yet, a 2006 example with very few modifications has touched 200.5 miles per hour, or 322 kilometers per hour. However it should be remembered that, due to the pact between gentlemen stipulated between the main Japanese manufacturers, the maximum speeds of the top category motorcycles are electronically limited to 300 kilometers per hour. The price is only 16,740 euros. Nevertheless, the ZX-14R remains a beast, if its appearance seems peaceful after all. Yet it is not the only Grand Tourer to show off these impressive technical data as we will see later. At number 7, another Kawasaki. Not just any Kawasaki, but a true manifesto of the manufacturer to demonstrate to the whole world what they are capable of creating. Here is the Ninja H2, introduced in 2014 with one clear goal, to be the most powerful and fastest production motorcycle in the world. The engine is a normal 998 cubic centimeters inline four-cylinder. Even the power output of 200 horsepower is nothing incredible compared to other bikes on the market. What makes the Ninja H2 stand out from the ordinary is the fact that its engine is supercharged by a turbine. There is nothing like it on the market and it has no real rivals for the moment. It is a maxi superbike and despite its weight of 238 kilograms it can reach, with incredible thrust, 300 kilometers per hour, electronically limited, otherwise it would be a little more. The price is 26,000 euros and, little spoiler, the surprises from Kawasaki are not finished. In sixth place, a real surprise, or maybe not. It is increasingly known that electric vehicles are gaining ground, little by little. And in the world of high-performance motorcycles it could only be like this, whether we like it or not. In this list, therefore, an electric motorcycle could not be missing, it is the Damon Motorcycles Hypersport. The power declared by the Canadian brand is 200 horsepower for 200 newton meters of torque and promises a range of 320 kilometers thanks to the 20 kilowatt hour battery pack. 
It has a whole series of tools for driver safety, such as radars, sensors, and cameras to monitor everything around us while we're riding. The system, called Copilot, was developed in collaboration with BlackBerry. But if it is on this list, it is for its maximum speed, certainly not for the technological gadgets it offers. In the more advanced version, the 35,000 Euro Premium, it can reach 320 km per hour, but at least it does so without polluting and, in silence. At number 5, we are already in the middle of the standings, we find the Ducati with its Panigale Superleggera V4. Probably one of the most beautiful motorcycles ever created, in the Superleggera version it is the closest to perfection for a true enthusiast. As for Aprilia and BMW, here, in addition to the top speed, the whole package is taken into consideration, where pure performance on the track is the fulcrum of the project. The numbers speak loud and clear. 998 cubic centimeters V4 engine, 234 horsepower, 159 kilograms dry weight. It's not cheap, but it's not a problem because all the models made, 500 units, were sold for just 100,000 euros. Full speed, 325, 330 kilometers per hour. At the foot of the podium, in fourth place, the Suzuki Hayabusa could not miss this top 10. The Peregrine Falcon, now in its third edition, is renewed in style and technology but the substance does not change. The 1,340 cubic centimeters inline four-cylinder of the Beza has 190 horsepower for 150 newton meters of torque, which make it the fastest bike in the 0100 to 200 km per hour ranges. Here too we find the maximum speed limited to 300 km per hour, however the web is full of crazy preparations that have brought the high user to frightening speeds. Like the Kawasaki ZX-14R, it is a grand tourer and not exactly very light at 264 kg. The price, on the other hand, is around 20,000 euros. And now, in the top 3, another electric motorbike. It is the Lightning LS218 and its production started in 2018 in the United States. In 2013, in prototype version, it was the first electric motorcycle to compete and win against combustion engines in the famous Pikes Peak Uphill Race. It is totally devoid of traction control and ABS and its batteries have a capacity of 12 kWh. Its name was not chosen at random, in fact the 218 indicates the maximum speed it can reach in miles per hour, corresponding to 350 km per hour. As if a Ninja H2 wasn't enough, in second place we have another. Ninja H2, this time in the R version. The Kawasaki technicians wanted to exaggerate and make the H2 even more extreme, yes because a supercharged production bike was not enough, according to them. Here we find the same base, that is, the four-cylinder in line, but increased to 310 horsepower, the weight, on the other hand, decreases up to 216 kilograms. In addition to power, there are other values that rise dramatically, one is certainly the price, 53,000 euros to park it in the garage, the other is the maximum speed, recorded at 385 kilometers per hour. However, in 2016, Turkish racer Kenan Sofulu reached 400 km per hour in a demonstration event shortly before the inauguration of the Izmit Bridge, located 50 km from Istanbul. 26 seconds were enough to reach this crazy speed, but the work behind it is truly immense. Here we are finally at the first, surprising place. Surprising yes, because the MTT Turbine Superbike is really unusual. This small American manufacturer, Marine Turbine Technologies, had the brilliant idea of inserting a gas turbine for helicopters, precisely a Rolls-Royce Allison, into the frame of a sport bike. The engine, which can be fueled by diesel or kerosene, releases 420 horsepower at 52,000 rpm. This beast has entered the Guinness Book of Records twice, once for the price tag of $185,000, and once for its top speed, of course. So, how far does the odometer stop on the fastest production motorcycle in the world? 
273 miles per hour, or 439 kilometers per hour. Thanks for watching. Press the like button if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel and if you know faster bikes than these, write them in the comments. Thanks again.